that Smriti Irani is currently at a roadshow for Why Not BJP uh, candidate K. Surendran. Remember, he's also the BJP president of uh, Kerala. Smriti Irani has said that today it is a fortunate day that our BJP state president is filing his nomination from Why Not. I wish him the best this elections. K. Surendran is also the BJP state president of Kerala. As we just informed you, he will be uh, filing his nomination. Those are the visuals that we are bringing to you of uh, Union Minister Smriti Irani accompanying K. Surendran on that road show in Vayanad. Remember, the timing is extremely significant considering he is filing his nomination just a day after Rahul Gandhi did from the Vayanad constituency. It's a three-way fight now between Rahul Surendran and CPI's Annie Raja in Wayanad. For more details, let's quickly go across to Shireen. Shireen, what's going to be very interesting is the fact that this is going to be a tri-cornered uh, fight, but what are the challenges ahead for the BJP at the moment? <laughs> that we're bringing to you from that road show in Wayanad as uh, you can see uh, women in child development minister Smriti Irani addressing that road show let's also listen into what she has to say all right let's quickly cut across to Shireen also uh, Shireen um, as I was asking you earlier this is a tri cornered contest but what's making it challenging for BJP at the moment <laughs> Well, what is making it difficult for BJP is that uh, their vote base, that there is an absence of vote base here uh, because majority of around 42% of the vote, uh, vote, uh, uh, voters are from the Muslim community. After that, there are about uh, 7 to 8% Hindus and about 10% Christians. Uh, but nevertheless, you can see the support that is coming in uh, from uh, the Vainat constituency. You can see how there are sea of supporters who have gathered here at Vainat today uh, in support of the BJP as they are heading, as case Surendran, the BJP state president is heading uh, towards the uh, collectorate office to file his nomination. And interestingly, uh, Smriti Irani, the union minister, the uh, women and child development minister, is accompanying uh, case Surendran here, clearly sending out a message that how Rahul Gandhi after losing Amethi as a constituency for about uh, being an MP from that constituency for five decades, uh, now he has lost from that constituency. And similarly, she says that he will lose from Vainad as well. Uh, but it is not going to be easy for BJP because BJP never had a strong base in Vainad, in Malapuram, on Kolikot, that particular belt. Uh, but it is going to be interesting because this is the sitting BJP state president. He has been able to make a lot of uh, headway uh, when it comes to to uh, the Chaparimala area, when it comes to uh, Trishur, when it comes to Patanam uh, So will he be able to make such an impact here in Bayanad is something that we have to wait and watch for. But at the same time being said that it is not going to be uh, uh, easy uh, as a cakewalk as it was for Rahul Gandhi in 2019 as well. Right. Because there are criticism that is coming in for Rahul Gandhi. So the margin of winning could be less and it could also be because of uh, how the LDF candidate is standing against Rahul Gandhi, Ani Raja. So it is, like you mentioned, as a triangular battle, a very interesting one at that. Absolutely. And in fact, before we delve deeper into uh, why this could be challenging this time around for Rahul Gandhi compared to his victory in 2019, important to, in fact, uh, get into the symbolism of those visuals that we are showing our viewers on the screen as they see K. Surendran accompanied by Union Minister Smriti Irani, Shireen. Uh, there's a lot of history that uh, Smriti Irani shares as far as fighting a direct contest against Rahul Gandhi in Amit is concerned. Take us through how deeply symbolic these visuals are that we are showing our viewers on our screen as K. Surendran finally takes a dive uh, for Vaina. Because when we talk about uh, Smriti Irani here in support of K. Surendran, uh, this is a message that the BJP wants to send out. While she was addressing the crowd here, the first thing that she has said that Rahul Gandhi had made uh, people in Amethi also his family, but there was not a single collectorate office or hospital or a developed school over there. It was after the Modi government came into power that they were able to do such developments, uh, development in Amethi constituency. So don't come into his 
words. If he is calling the Vainar people his family today, he will abandon you tomorrow like he has done in Amiti is the big statement that is coming in from Smriti Irani today. So this is of course a strategy uh, that has in fact been done by BJP making sure that um, uh, Smriti Irani comes here, addresses the crowd over here and you can see if I ask my camera person to pan and show you a massive crowd that has in fact gathered for BJP in Vainad. Uh, of course we have to see whether this turns into vote for BJP because like I pointed out earlier, the belt that we talk about, Vainad, Malapuram, Korikod has always been a Muslim league and uh, UDF uh, supporting uh, belt. So whether they will be able to actually make some impact in this belt will be interesting to see. Uh, but at the same time, uh, you know, what uh, Smriti Irani also pointed out here, one thing that she's been highlighting again and again is how the India Alliance in Delhi, they are heg hugging each other, mm. but in Kerala, they are begging how they are pitted against each other in Kerala, how Pindarai Vijayan is making statement against Congress, how Annie Raja is the left, can uh, left candidate and is pitted against Rahul Gandhi and how desperate the Congress is that they are willing to take support of a banned organization. All With all these points, you know, we have seen how uh, she was able to uh, communicate. She started her speech in Malayalam uh, uh, saying uh, Namaskaram to everyone. It actually resounded with a lot of people who are here and they all in fact now moving towards the collectorate office where, uh, you know, he, uh, K. Surindran will be filing his nomination. Today is the last date of filing nomination uh, from Kerala because uh, Kerala is going to go into uh, polls on 22nd April. So this is the second phase of elections where Kerala will go into elections and you can see a full-fledged campaign has started from all the three sides, be it left, BJP, Congress, a full-fledged campaign is going on and it will continue to uh, be like that is what all the parties Shari, the other 